everyone welcome back my youtube channel sales for sun this is rohit and today i'm going to show you spring 23 new feature that is called refresh view api still in beta where we can use inside our lwc component but uh, before that if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end because this is the new feature so you have to know this feature surely right so let's get started without any further delay whether user driven or app invoke the ability to synchronize data without reloading entire page so is a key user experience required the new lightning slash refresh is the new module and refresh view api provide a standard way to the you know refresh component data in the lwc and aura because we have two types of you know refresh view inside aura as well lwc so lwc right now we are using so i will show you the practical part about this refresh view api so previously lwc lacked a data refresh api and aura only supported the legacy force colon refresh view which does not meet the requirement of the modern web development so refresh view api is a detailed control refresh scope lets developer create refine or user experience while maintaining backward capabilities so this is all about like uh, features about this refresh view api right so how to do that let me show you here so let me open my vs code and let me create a one apex class and uh, it can be anything in your case so right now i'm using account as a you know object inside my apex class so i i'm going to create this apex class so just click on this one and take like account handler it can be anything in your case but in my case i'm using this account handler controller right so here you can see my apex class is created successfully and uh, let me write the code inside this one because i need to update my account name using lwc using this ref refresh view api right without reloading the page whole page right so how to do that let me show you here so first of all i need to enable the aura right and uh, inside here just take your method name you can add any kind of method name here let's say uh, update account name data something like that right and this method contain two parameter first is like a string id and second string name inside this try i want to fetch some records right using this sql query like this and here this sql query having this kind of you know data and it let me add the limit so limit one right and uh, account uh, let me change this acc here right let's say acc and also acc and i want to fetch the name from this parameter this method right and update the acc once you update it let me return the acc dot id record id right let me save this one once you saved it now you have to deploy your uh, apex class first of all because our backend code is ready right so let me deploy this class first once you deploy this class now you have to create another you know lwc component fresh component to using this kind of you know apex class inside your lwc so now successfully deploy this class now let me create one lwc component so just you can press if you are using window control shift p and try to search sfdx colon create lightning web component this option and give the name as you want let's say refresh data for account let's say this one right and now you can see my lwc component is created successfully here right so how to use my apex class inside this one so we can use using import statement so first of all let me add the standard navigation or standard import statement in the top if you have like custom import so always this is the best practice so always use in the last right so always use like a standard top and custom in the last so let me import the first new module 
and this is the new module inside you know spring 23 release feature that is called refresh refresh event right and from we can uh, import this one from lightning and then refresh so this is the uh, we can say that this is the import statement to using this refresh view API right so refresh event from lightning slash refresh so this is the way to import your refresh component after that I need to import like so toast message because I need to show some you know uh, message like successfully update the record something like that right so we can use this so toast event from lightning slash platform so toast event right and now it's time to use your apex client inside your lwc here so now import and then update update account name data something like that or account name from we can use like this so our controller name is account handler so just copy this account handler paste it here just copy this method name paste it here with the dot notation because this is the static method or you know if you don't know apex so you can watch my playlist about the oops concept object oriented programming so you, you will be get to know about this static or non static method so always remember static method always call with the help of class name non static method we can call with the help of instance of the class right so now here you can see this is the fourth line under this fourth line I already import this you know update account name and I want to use this kind of feature inside my you know this controller here so first of all let me add this api decorator and record id because i need the record id here and uh, now let me create one method here that is called async here because it's a async process so uh, we can use let's say submit handler something like that right some uh, this handler under here we can use first of all let's say uh, I need to design first like uh, uh, one UI for this one so let me remove as of now this one and let me save this and let me open my HTML part so we can use like refresh data refresh data HTML right data for this one account so now you can see my HTML here and if you want to add HTML so you can use like a card or any kind of design if you need it so you can use it otherwise you can use simply way all right so let me add the card first of all so I need LWC card here so okay so LWC card so it's a card so now you can see my card here right so you can give uh, any title as you want let's say refresh view API something like that right and remove unnecessary markup from here under here we have to use like uh, one div under this div we have one button and this is a refresh view method right so for now before that let me create one input type uh, text because I need to take some input from the user side and that input automatically change your account name using this uh, refresh view API so how to do that so just search here uh, let's say LWC import okay LWC import so you can use any kind of thing let's say tax or something like that this one right and now you can label let's say enter account name right placeholder you can add it any placeholder as you want for now I'm using here like value attribute here and this value attribute uh, it can be anything but uh, let's say ACC name here right and once you uh, uh, added this value attribute here right so also I need to add another you know best spring 23 feature inside this LWC that is called LWC colon ref so uh, instead of this query selector or query selector or you can use this one because it's a new and it's a uh, uh, performance point of view this is the good right so let's say name ref right so now here you can see let me update this you know 
my SLDS so now here you can see this one you can change it here and let me save it now our UI is done now it's time to use this you know event and this name ref how to reference into our JS file so how to do that let me show you here so first of all after this uh, record ID let me uh, take or let me create one you know this event that is called refresh view right or submit handler submit handler like this let me save it go to here and it's a async process so always use async before this method and this one and after this method body right let me create one let variable based on your need let's say acc name equal to this dot if you want to reference that particular element so always use like this dot reps dot then your ref name so my ref name here you can see like name ref so just copy it paste it here and just use value at here so once you got the value right so you can create or you can use this method here that is called update here and it's a like a await process multi-threading process await update here you can see update account name so here you can see the update account name right and this is like a id we have to pass this record id like this and here let's say name because these all parameter inside our apex class you can see like id and name it should be match here otherwise you will not get any kind of you know outputs here so once you write these things right so here you can see this one after that i need to create another method for this so toast message right so let's say so toast this is the method and under this method we can write like this this method and now we can call this sort uh, so toast method after you know updating the records so we can use like this dot so toast and this so toast uh, after that we can uh, dispatch the event of the refresh event so here you can see the complete code step by step using this refresh api view right so always remember this kind of thing if you are using lwc so now you can see our code is ready now it's time to configure our metadata file right so how to configure the metadata file so let me tell you here so just you have to press ctrl p if you are using window so just you have to search your component let's say refresh data so here you can see the refresh data for account and here the, this is the html and uh, i need to open my xml file so how to open the xml file just you have to search refresh data for now you can see the metadata file right and just make it as a true if you want to expose this component and target here you can see my target right so now our code is ready uh, like this is the backend code here and this is for lwc js file and this is the html and this is the xml now our everything is ready now it's time to deploy this component so before that always remember first deploy your apex class so let me deploy this apex class again and once you see the successfully message definitely it automatic deploy into your org and you can use this apex client inside your lwc once you deploy this apex class right now it's time to deploy this lwc component so just deploy this component here once you deploy it now you have to open your org and just you can open any kind of you know account records page and based on the record page we can um, maintain these things so under here you can see I already opened this org and under the account we have lots of records right you can use this list view using all accounts or recently we viewed right let me refresh this org first once you refresh you can open any kind of you know records let's say Deepak Tyagi and uh, now just click on this gear icon and click on this edit page right so once you click on this edit page immediately you can see the app builder page this is the app builder page visual editor right so just you can see your component inside here so it's a like you know refresh data for the account just you can drag and drop anywhere as you want let's say this one right and click on the save button 
and just go back so once you go back here you will be see uh, the component here right that is called refresh view api and this is the default value right and right now you can see and please observe right now the account record page name here record name here that is called Deepak Tyagi and uh, let me click on this refresh view and it's automatic comes this name inside here so please observe so just click on this refresh view so once you refresh view already clicked now you can see immediately pop up and it's automatic change your name here you can see let's say I want to change again let's say Deepak Tiagi again and click on this refresh uh, view button it's automatic change your name here and pop-up message here you can see so here you can see Deepak Tiagi and once you uh, if you want to cross check out this record so just click on this account and now again you can see the Deepak Tiagi here let's say if you need it let's say I want to take like Deepak Tiagi one right let's say Deepak Tiagi one click on this refresh view here you can see Deepak Tyagi 1 and successfully update click on this account tab now immediately you can see Deepak Tyagi 1 here right so here you can see each and everything so this is the very most important module inside this spring 23 for the LWC that is called refresh view API okay so you can use it instead of your aura component because performance point of view this is the faster because of you know this is the latest web standard so that's why right so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you like this video please like share comment subscribe my youtube channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates and you never be miss any kind of update from my site so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching